Hello. Because I had a lot to say in my last video, we're gonna keep things very light and easy this week. But to start things off, I recently finished this book called Everything Now by Rosecrans Baldwin. Oh my god, this green tone on my face. Oh no. <laughs> When I went to a good used book in Echo Park a couple weeks ago, which shout out to Jenny and Chris, if you're in LA and you're looking for something to read, go see them, talk to them. They're gonna give you a really good recommendation. This time, this was recommended to me. The book, it goes into all the aspects of Los Angeles, the good, the pretty, the bad, and the ugly. I really enjoyed reading this book and while it didn't give me a new appreciation, it gave me a new perspective, a new kind of feeling towards Los Angeles, mostly positive. With this new feeling and perspective in mind, I wanted to go out and take some pictures and see how I felt. I don't think we can say a video is mine unless we start at a coffee shop. I didn't take a lot of photos here because I ended up spending a lot of time working on my laptop. But I did run into Eddie, took this picture, and I also took a few more on my film camera. Which I'm hoping to finish soon so I can do a monthly film roundup. I might have talked about this when I first started the channel, but I love taking photos of coffee shops because there's always something new and different there. Despite the fact that I was here for the first time, a lot of people were coming and going, and I got to photograph a number of different people, including their details. Although I didn't take a lot of photos inside of this coffee shop, I found a few interesting perspectives. Number one, I didn't get this picture, but maybe take a picture of what's inside from the outside. Kind of similar to what I talked about in my last video at Canyon. And the second one is this reflection. Reflections, I remember talking about them being very cliche, very overdone. But when they're done in a tasteful manner, they're really fun to look at. This over here is not my best attempt, but something for me to think about the next time I'm here, and maybe I can even stand up, sit differently, and get a better view of the reflection of the baristas, customers, everything else. In the beginning, I talked about this book and while it has yet to give me new appreciation, it kind of changed the way I think and feel about Los Angeles. And what is the best way to test out this feeling than going to an area you're very familiar with and you photographed a number of times? This was already off to an interesting start. I run by this building all the time, but I never knew there was a basketball court up there. On this day, I saw these people playing up there and I wondered if I could find a way to photograph them. Photograph them throwing the ball, high-fiving each other, just some sort of an action. It didn't work. But now that I'm aware this is there, every time I pass this place with my camera, I know I'm gonna be looking at this place hoping to capture something.
Another thing that really caught my attention on this day was the facade of all the buildings. Yes, who doesn't love a good symmetrical photo, but it's something I never really tried taking photos of. But something about this day, I was willing to take a lot of photos of this and truly enjoy that. Another interesting thing that happened on this day was that I started noticing a lot of random things on the ground. Here in the same parking lot, a car was broken into and that scene left this. I'm going to show you another picture that's also green with a lot of texture and I wanted to compare that with something that's not as sad, with something that's a little more neutral or happy. While I was leaving the parking lot going to the other side of the street, I noticed this man in green and what was ahead of him? This white building with a lot of texture. I thought that was perfect. I was looking for something green and something that has a lot of texture. I started running towards him, but by the time I was able to get a good picture of him, a bus drove by, a car drove by, and I was out of focus. But knowing that this existed and I wanted to make a diptych, I stayed here for a little bit and got this. Again with the building facade, but what's really interesting here is that not everything is in uniform. We have one window with the curtains, another one with a shirt hanging. This would be such a fun photo to take at night. So you're able to see the movement of people inside, the lights being turned on, people closing curtains. Did my Siri just go off? Yeah, I think this would be fun at night, but that also kind of means you're invading someone's privacy, which is... A trick and matter. I tend to go on these photo walks by myself because I sometimes spend a lot of time trying to get one picture, which some people might say that defeats the purpose of street photography because street photography is all about taking a photo in the moment. But sometimes we like to curate those moments. If I went on this walk with someone else, I would have asked that person to go on the other side so I can get a photo of them standing there or walking down the ramp. And also here, I might have asked that person to stand by the ledge or pretend like they're taking a photo of this spiral structure. <laughs> That is it for this week's video. If you have a book or a movie that changed the way you approach your photographs, let me know. And I'll see you next week.